Yeah, welcome back everybody. Now this is the part where I showed you how to design the carousel. So um, immediately after the uh, the nav, so open the D. Now make it big. Now um, after the opener. Uh, now there are three things that are, it's involving designing uh, a carousel. First, you need indicators. You need the wrapper and the controls. Uh, the first thing you need to do is the indicators. Now, to do the indicators, you need other list. This to do the wrappers, you need a diff and um, this you need uh, the controls. Now, I'm going to show you uh, add more controls. To this add one more. To this good. Now, I'm going to show you how to do all this now everything will be inside is big D so follow now the first thing I'm, I'm gonna do here uh, it's the first uh, concentrate more on the other class other class carousel please you have to make sure your spellings are correct carousel indicators make sure it's correct now you can uh, add a comment here indicators first okay now um, here it's for um, wrappers wrappers okay and uh, the last one here it's uh, controls okay now this is our uh, other list class okay now it's just like you want to make a list now the next thing that will come in is this now, but before this is different from, um, um, you know, from navigation or just making a, a list. This is uh, going to be, you know, controls. So, this uh, data target would be uh, this. It has to be uh, correct. Uh, okay, this my carousel. Okay, carousel then uh, that uh, slide to okay this okay we need to add a glass as well active okay once you attribute this uh, make this is um, zero okay now we need one more or let me say two more because we're adding three images okay that uh, Target because the same thing they will be linked to the same thing. Uh, my carousel data slide to sorry data slide to uh, one. Okay, leave that there. The same thing goes does target the link to the same thing. My carousel. That uh, that uh, sorry, slide to um two, okay. Good. Now once that is done, that means you're true with the uh, indicators. Now let's go straight to the wrappers. Let's scroll down a little bit. Now before we go on, sorry, let's quickly uh this. The ID which we are linking all these to, okay, it has to be the one here. But without the uh, you know, the hash sign, this class you need to have a class carousel slide. No hyphen. That uh, right. This carousel, okay. Now the, you can check for the documentation in now uh, the bootstrap version you're using or the best thing you can use is use CDN and then make sure you are internet connected carousel inner okay now that means uh, carousel inner okay now this you need to open um, uh, three more divs here Okay. 
sorry. Another one. Okay. Now in this add a class called um, I think active. That means the one that's go the one that goes for this the first one here. So we are writing for each one. Since you write since you've you, since you've uh, done the indicator for this, now you need to do the wrapper for this. Item active. Uh, then the next thing we're gonna do is to add image. Okay. Now images slash cast slash sliders slash slider one dot png. Now before you go on, uh, let's add an alternate text. Let's say um, BMW. That means once you over your mouse and it, it should show this. Now this type we're gonna add is type this width. The width is gonna be a uh, hundred percent. That means uh, the width should display fully. Okay. Now once you're through with this, we can do one simple thing. Just copy this paste here and paste here all what all what we need to do is just to make sure we change this to two change this to three and uh, this is not active active this is just going to be high temp okay this is just going to be um high temp not active active uh this is going to be 130 because it's a little bit smaller uh, okay now once you that means we are through with the wrappers now the next thing is for the controls that means those things are going to be controlled but before we move on let's quickly check what we've done if you are we are correct good let's refresh it good now we can see it works perfectly now this okay, okay it's not scrolling what happened let's check okay now um, okay now um, let's continue our code um, it's, it's gonna work now let's quickly finish the controls now the control here is gonna be uh, left left carousel control left carousel control now I'm gonna add a uh, sir okay this is gonna be class not sorry okay okay linked to this my carousel okay that uh, slide to pref now we need to add a span class span class of glyph icon ph glyph icon um, chevron left Add a span again now the span class of SR only previous now once you do that just uh, I'm gonna do the same you can just copy uh, copy everything we have we have paste okay and uh, once you copy and paste this uh, uh, okay mm change this to right okay change this to right uh, okay uh, next sorry it's gonna be uh, sorry next mm, okay uh, change this to right okay uh, this is gonna be next okay now let's quickly view what you've done okay it's not working now okay 
um, I think uh, the major problem here why is not scrolling. Let's let's see. It's not is it, okay. It's not scrolling. I think the major problem here is uh, very simple. Okay, this should not be item. Okay, let's scroll down. Good. You can see it worked. But um, there are some things which we need to still add to this now. But um, from what we have here, it's um, very good and very okay. I think we can uh, do some little adjustment to this. Just lit just little adjustment. I think I'm thinking of little adjustment here. Um, at the top of this, at the top of this, uh, this place, we can just put um, a text, just like the way it 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 uh, it in the website I showed to you, text center. Text center, okay. Um, okay. Slideshow of our cars. Okay. Let's let's preview and see. Okay. It, I think it's not showing. It's because of the. I think it's at the top here. Okay. The other things they are showing. Okay. 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 I think I know what to do. Um. We need to add um, another div. Oh, what you need to do uh, from here down to uh, from line 24 here down to uh, this place cut cut it now put a div paste everything inside at the head of the div here that line 24 put this Uh, ID home okay home now if you go straight to your if you go straight to this you can see yeah boom now it will display everything starting from the div ID uh, from the container we used here so div home um, should we add a background I think what we have here is good well well we can add a padding um but before that we can add a style we can add padding to the top. Let's add um, 20 pixel and see if it's gonna work. Okay, let's go back. Preview, good. I think it's not still showing properly. Um, yeah, but uh, let's make it 30 then. Good, it's showing. Um, I think it's cool. Okay, let's try to see if we can add um, maybe um, the background. Background URL okay images bg2 dot jpg let's see if it will work good now this is what we I think this is what we have on our uh, in home page so as to cover what we have at the back here okay yeah good so this is the slider of the uh, website now i i'm thinking of something here if we should um leave this out if we should leave everything that has to do with this place out let's remove the background and see first let's see i think what well, to some it looks okay or well, let's put it back and let's remove this let's see good i think i like i love it this way i'm not sure if you love it as well like me but i love it it's very okay now okay it's just as simple as this just, can you see it's very cool and very very nice okay so um the next video i'm going to take you throughout the design other sections thank you have a wonderful day Watch out for the next video. Thank you.